In this episode of Top Bikes Top 5, I'll be sharing with you the five reasons why the BMW C400 GT has changed the way how I look at scooters. For anything else, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media for the latest motorcycle news and reviews. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win a limited edition Top Bikes jersey. Hi, this is Aries of Drop on Top Bikes, and today I have a confession to make. I don't really like scooters. Okay, so before all of you scooter boys and Vespa bros out there flame me in the comments section for saying that I don't like scooters, let's get one thing straight. I'm not saying scooters suck. I'm not saying I hate them. I just don't like them as a matter of preference. But that is also the reason why we are making a video of the BMW C400 GT today. The BMW C400 GT is a 350cc urban mobility vehicle from the land of bratwurst, pretzels, and some of the best beers in the world. The first thing you will notice about the BMW C400 GT is its looks. To be more specific, its size. It's big, it's wide, and just one look at it with its tall windscreen right here. It has these sizable tires. It has 120 in the front and 150 right there in the back. The huge seats that it has, the GT badge on the side and stitched right here on the backrest. You already know that this German bad boy is made for touring. It doesn't look out of place in the city. It just blends in so well with the environment. I can see myself going to meetings and client presentations wearing a nice shirt, a pair of dress pants or chinos, and a nice pair of leather shoes and not feel like a dork. For the first time in a very long time, I don't really mind going slow or even getting stuck in traffic. 30 kilometers per hour has never felt this good. The seat is very comfortable, it's spacious, and the bike just handles effortlessly. You don't feel like you have to muscle it in order to make it turn or go fast. It just goes with the flow. I also like how you don't have to think about whether your engine's going to stall and stop and go traffic. It just feels so light, comfortable, and you can tell that this thing is really made for the city. The fourth thing that I like about the BMW C400 GT is that it has tons of tech. I have to admit, I haven't even begun to scratch the surface. It just has so many features and each one really has a specific purpose. I know that some riders are pretty averse when it comes to technology. They want that raw mechanical feel of motorcycles and I don't blame them. However, I really appreciate the amount of technology that BMW has packed inside this thing. And the last thing about the BMW C400 GT that I really like, well, it's a BMW. What else can I say about it? When it comes to performance, innovation, and style, a BMW is really in a league of its own. And the C400 GT really lives up to its GT classification. You know it's not just there for marketing purposes. At 595,000 pesos, sure, it's not exactly the most affordable scooter out there, but if there's one thing you can be sure of, it's that you're getting 595,000 pesos worth of fun and performance. So while I still like motorcycles in general, I'm pretty glad that the BMW C400 GT has changed the way that I look at scooters. I see the value and practicality in these things, and if you're gonna ask me if I'm ever going to get my own scooter someday, this is probably the one that's going to be on top of my list. If you've made it till the end of this video, comment what you love about the BMW C400 GT, together with the hashtag Katropang Top Bikes. The top five comments will win a limited edition Top Bikes jersey. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to comment, hit like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media for all of the latest motorcycle news and reviews. Once again, this has been Aries of Tropang Top Bikes. I'll see you again in the next episode of Top Bikes Top 5. <laughs>